So let's now start coloring in this in. So first material, I'm gonna leave the default material there. Let's click new and let's go white underscore, actually let's go win, window underscore frame white. And I'm going to leave, I'm gonna make this white. Now, so we've got the color there. However, I'm also gonna do the viewport color because the viewport color is what shows up in the view. Um, let's demonstrate that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this frame, control L. Ah, that didn't really work, did it? Oh, well. select this one, select this, all the white bits that we want, control L. And what I'm going to do is click assign. Didn't really do much, did it? Let's change the viewport color because the viewport color is what we see. So, I mean, if I move this around, we've got hyper colors. So let's make that proper white. Why did that not go proper white? And we'll make this proper white. Okay. And let's go building, building brick. Yellow, because we're kind of going for that. Oh, it's not really yellow, it's a brown, but oh well, that's fine. And let's just pick a rough color. Yeah, I'm happy with that color. And let's select that. So what I did there is the viewport color. I used the eyedropper tool. And what we're gonna use is that color. I'm not gonna copy it forever from this view pane because that's gonna give me a different color. It's gonna be always a little bit darker. So I'm always gonna copy the viewport color from here. So let's go into the building. I'm going to select all this. <coughs> and that is going to be my building assign. Okay. We need to change the window. Let's make the actual window 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 underscore glass dark gray so let's put it nice and dark and I'm going to select that 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 and that assign um What's going on there? Why are those doors? I can see just a little bit, which is not what I wanted. Change the medium point. Let's just make that a little bit bigger. And this bit here, control G, just move it up. Good. And while we're at it, I think this frame and these doors all should be white, except for those panes, assign. Nice, okay, and roof underscore red. What color red? More of an orange. Pink. Oh. more of a salmon color. <laughs> Control L, roof, assign. Might work. And let's do metal. Metal. And we'll just make that a little bit gray. Make that a vertice. Control L. <coughs> excuse me, a sign. Beautiful, awesome. Hey, we've got a 2D house, brilliant. But it doesn't really suit our scene. So in all our other scenes, which I don't have open at the moment, we've always got it kind of tilted. So the way I do this is on the medium point, rotate, and I normally go 10 degrees minus 
And what we can do here is either rotate Z 10. That looks a bit weird. Maybe we can get away with it. Rotate Z 10. And then it kind of, you've just got that side view, that side feel. However, I think, I think it still needs a little bit of a tilt. Ten's too much, maybe even five's too much. Maybe go 2.25 and rotate 2.25 on the Z axis. And now that gives it just that little bit of depth. And you know what? We've built a building. Awesome. Now the best part of it is, is I can press Alt R and it resets the rotation. Um, and I'm always gonna reset the rotation. Uh, let's save this. Now one final thing that we're gonna do is we need to assign this building to a group. And that group just assists importing it into other files. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press Control G and call it um, um, city underscore building underscore one. Done. And that's the first step in creating this marketplace.